All right, hey, so what's up, guys? All right, so just a quick five-minute build video. Uh, if you have a resin printer, you have to make one of these. All right, so I was making this pickle rick, as you do, and uh, I had this vent hole. Uh, I'm still learning this. I'm still learning all this resin printing stuff. Um, and then I realized uh, there's no way I could get in there to cure the resin on the inside. Uh, so what do you do? Um, so I actually bought a curing station and uh, the model above had a little flashlight thingy that you could uh, plug in, but I didn't want to pay the extra 30 bucks for that. Um, you could buy flashlights. Uh, I have this one here. This is actually uh, 365 nanometer, so it's not the correct wavelength, but um, this is about the size that you buy, uh, you could buy on Amazon, and uh, this is not going to get into that hole. So, uh, so I figured I would just buy a little LED and cram it up that hole. So yeah, you got to build this. Uh, it costs a dollar in parts if you have an extra USB cable lying around, uh, but if not, maximum two dollars. All right, so what do you need? Well, you need some uh, UV LEDs. Uh, get the 405 nanometer ones. Those are the ones that are typical for resins. Um, I got a f I got this five millimeter um, LED, but uh, if you want to go smaller, I was just in a hurry. But if you want to go smaller, you could go on DigiKey and get these uh, SMD chips, and uh, you could get those into uh, really into much smaller places. Okay, and then you're going to need a resistor to limit the current. Uh, just do the usual calculations. So for this LED that runs ideally at 20 milliamps, uh, we're going to use 5 volts. So 5 volts divided by 20 milliamps will give us 250 ohms. And I didn't have 250, so I'm going to use 240. Okay, and you're going to need a USB cable. Uh, I had one that's been acting kind of funny, so I'm going to sacrifice that, uh, but I'm going to make sure to test it out. If you don't have an extra cable lying around, you could just go to the dollar store and get one to sacrifice from there. Just don't try to use a USB-C cable unless you know what CC1 and CC2 means. Or you could just go on AliExpress and get a cable with a 5.1K pull-down resistor. But uh, I'm just going to keep this simple. Okay, and I'm going to use some heat shrink to keep things clean. Okay, and I'm sure you know how to solder, but this is how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to keep the resistor close to the LED. I'm going to use two pieces of heat shrink and make sure you put these on before you start soldering. Um, and I'm going to use one basically to isolate one lead and I'm going to use the other to cover everything up. Okay, and I'm wrapping the resistor on itself so I could make this more compact and I could get into smaller spaces. Okay, the inner shrink wrap goes on. And I should have used bigger heat shrink. And there you go, heat it up and you're all done. So does it work? I did this for 30 seconds, but you could do this longer in your resin prints. It's only five milliwatts, but it's surprisingly really good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, so let's wrap this up. All right, and it's time for a stupid giveaway. Uh, why not? I got these extra LEDs, which I'm probably not going to use all of them. So I tell you what, leave a comment down below. When this video hits 5,000 views, I'm just going to randomly pick five people, and I will send you one LED and one resistor, and you can make your own. It's uh, not worth much, but um, if you're on the fence, it's free. So uh, yeah, leave a comment down below. Anything, it doesn't matter. And I will send you an LED and a resistor from Japan. All right, guys, take care. See you later.
I'm Pickle Rick!